Hey guys, this is Shy Gamer Miley, and welcome back to Twilight Princess HD. Today we'll be tackling the Twilight Realm dungeon, and this is actually another one of my favorite dungeons in this game. Not necessarily because of the puzzles or anything like that, it's just the atmosphere and the story involved in this dungeon are really well handled. And it's also been something that we've been building up to this entire game, so to finally see the payoff is just awesome. Anyway, why don't you guys grab a soda or a tea or a coffee, get all comfortable, and then, you know, let's start the dungeon. So, this one, this dungeon is a little different. Uh, f you have to do puzzle solving in the first half in to the left and to the right, and then once that's unlocked, you'll have to go straight ahead. So, let's head to the left first. And start our journey into this temple. And all of these creatures right here are actually denizens of the Twilight Realm, who have been transfigured by Xant. <laughs> Alright, let's get the keys out of the way because they're the most annoying part of this dungeon. hate those armored heads. Darn. Where are you? Uh-huh. Get rid of these guys so they stop throwing projectiles at us. Okay. Now that that's handled, There's a key in here. Yep. <laughs> this dungeon, you pretty much use all the tools available to you. I don't know if the spinner has a role in here. The spinner was kind of underutilized in this game. So we want to kind of avoid going into this mist, except we kind of have to right now, in order to get rid of... Miles, be careful. This black fog is made up of shadow crystals created by Xant. They blot out light. He's responsible for stealing the light from the spirits and turning your world into twilight. But he's not all powerful. We're prepared too. I can return you to your normal state whenever you need me. So don't worry, okay? We need to enter wolf form for a bit just to get rid of this guy. Where is he? There you are. Two, three. Hate these little guys because they always attack you while you're trying to do important things like opening up chests. We got our compass. Now we just need a dungeon map. Which I believe. I think this is either a key or a dungeon map. then the map's probably in the other half. It'll have to go on up. 
Oh, I've missed the hook shot so much, especially since it's not in Breath of the Wild. That's a an item that I really wanted to be in Breath of the Wild just because of all the possibilities, but it didn't make it. All the verticality and speed that you gain from having a hook shot. First mini boss, which is basically a phantom. Well, it's a phantom Xant along with some shadow creatures as well, which are annoying. Keys are kind of my least favorite thing. the Zelda franchise simply because they come in they come in so many varieties oh you're so annoying Xant where are you Gotcha. A full set there. Where's... There you are. If I can avoid fighting the keys, then I will. Because there's no incentives. I don't even think they drop items. Which is why we have pots lining the walls. Where is he? Uh. It's a pretty quick little boss fight. And we'll have to face him again on the other side. Let's quickly replenish our hearts. Since we didn't use any during the boss fight. Alright. Now we can start on solving or clearing this half of the dungeon. That shining sphere illuminates this world. It's called a soul. It's like the sun of your world, Miles. The power of the soul is the source of life in this world. It is pure power. Ah, as long as you have this, would you take this soul to the twilight at the entrance of this entrance to this world? Please, Miles? Okay, so to get the hand to drop it, we just need to bust it up real quick, like so. And we'll take it, but it's not- it's never that easy. The hand's gonna try to steal the soul back from us as we bring it to the front of the dungeon. So we want to prevent it from getting the soul. It's going to follow us to each room and just continually try to take the orb from us. Which is kind of annoying, but... <laughs> this almost reminds me of, um... What is it? When you have to guide the statues to the beginning or the hub of the dungeon in uh, Wind Waker. There you go. Let's 
get these guys out of the way real quick. Face this guy down here. You can freeze him by putting a few arrows in to him. Then we'll just take the soul like so. Throw it up. Go away. Please. We'll take it into the next room. This is kind of a baby's first soul retrieval, so it's not that bad. But the other ones are kind of tricky. Whoops. Ouch. Okay. Go away. Thank you. It's just keys. Keys are annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we are first orb. We survived the day. And got our first orb. If you bring this orb toward the citizens of the Twilight, it'll help them regain their true form. So let's bring it around real quick and help them return to normal. There we go. That helps, right, guys? here. There we go. That's as many as we can do here because we need one of these orbs to stay here. And to power this. Miles, there should be one more soul. If we can find that, it should lead us to Xant. The second half is a little more tricky than the first. And sometimes I tend to lose the soul to the hand. Alright. Let's go inside. get these keys out of the way first so they don't get in my way. We'll have to do a little bit of jumping here. Actually, let's grab this heart real quick. Gonna have to do a little, tiny bit of platforming here. Gonna hop up. Go right here. And we're gonna jump. These can't be lit yet. Jump up. I wonder if we can lure the, that guy down. At all. Where is he? Nope. The answer is no. Transform into human. My true platforming skills have been unleashed, which is to say that I have none. <laughs> Can't use an arrow. Ouch. Okay. Let's, uh, jump. Ha! <laughs> 
jump. And jump. And jump. And jump. Darn. Almost. But not quite. So close. So close, yet so far. moment of concentration while I platform. There we go. Okay, this is more acceptable. I was wondering how I was supposed to like platform and get him at the same time, but this is fair. <laughs> I think I remember one time where I did have to chase him around the room, which wasn't fun, but I think that was in the one on the GameCube, not this one. So I don't know if they changed it or if I just have rotten luck when it comes to those kinds of things. Open up the door. Actually, I want to check the whole room to see if there's any more of these guys in here. Uh-huh. Because we don't kill all of them at the same- yeah. There's- yeah, there's gonna be a resurrection. <laughs> the fourth one. Oh, there wasn't a fourth one. Hmm. Three. Where is he now? Alright, one, two, three. Give me the... Oh, are there two in here? Oh, there's like three. Two more hits on each of these guys. Two, three. Is that all of them? Or is there one more? Cool. Alright. Let's break these pots real quick. Because I do need some hearts. I've noticed that hearts in general, hearts and other items in general, are just scarce in the Twilight Realm. So, you really need to be safe about health management, which I probably haven't shown the best example of throughout this playthrough. Here. I'm gonna lower myself down a bit and go here. Go down a bit and uh -huh. over here and drop it down. Let's crush these pots first. See what's in there. Nothing. Nothing. We've got the key. 
think I saw a chest somewhere else. Besides this one, of course. So I might as well check what's in those two. Arrows, we could always use more arrows. Well, that was an awkward. He was glaring at the chest. There's our dungeon map. Which will come in handy. I think there's another chest in here that I can grab. There we go. Down here. 50 rupees. Uh, I see another important looking chest. What's in it? A stamp. A Zant stamp. Which would be cool, but uh, Miiverse doesn't exist anymore, so any stamps I find are useless. <laughs> Open the door. I think we're gearing up for another mini boss fight here with Xant again. There he is. Where is he? There you are. You're gonna disappear as soon as I come near, aren't you? And the answer is yes. Is it Keese again? No Keese? Where is he? Three? Four? These guys aren't so hard to deal with, so it's not as much of a problem. Well, it was pretty quick. I anticipated it lasting longer. How strange. Hearts, please. Thank you. Got anything else noteworthy in here? Some hearts? I need them, so thank you. <laughs> right, let's take this next soul out of here. here without having to do any fighting.
right. Let's head down to the pit again. Put down the soul here. some place to hang on to. <laughs> the hand is stuck. Great. Okay. Just pester this guy by stealing the orb a bunch. One, two, and a three. Leave it alone. Give it to me. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, it's platforming while being chased. My favorite. here again. One, two, three, bye. There we go. Thank the lord they have that on Hilton. Go before the keys try and get me. <laughs> well, look at that. I didn't have to start all over this time. That's the first. Now we've saved another twilight. Great. Let's bring this guy back to the hub. <laughs> Give it a place right there.
And we have effectively turned our Master Sword into a lightsaber now. <laughs> light filled the Master Sword. Its blade glows with the golden light in the Twilight Realm. With it, you can cut through dark fog. Amazing! The power of the souls has been transferred to your sword. The guardian deities of my world are on our side, too. You really are the chosen one, Miles. A true hero. As long as you have that sword, you can... You should be able to repel the shadows Zant has spread. So now whenever I'm in the Twilight Realm, the Master Sword will look like so. Pretty neat. I like it. Alright, so that was the first half of the dungeon. Next time, we'll be going through the second half. So, I'm going to cut right here, and I'll see you guys in the next part.